Hey, welcome everyone. I want to thank everybody for coming back in and thank you for surfing upon my game channel up here at YouTube. I appreciate everybody coming in. If you just tuned in and you're and you're watching the live stream, thank you very much. If you're watching this as a recording of the live stream, uh, but my YouTube game channel, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoy your time watching me and this segment uh, play some Elder Scrolls Online. Folks, I'm not going to um, say I'm the best player out there, but, you know, of course, I built this character I have. I'm sure I could have done better at it. Um, but since I've played through this game and felt the... Um, <laughs> felt the abuse of a wrong built character um i'm sure another character if I, if I would decide to start another character i'm sure i'd do it a lot different but um so anyhow um if i could play this game anybody can it's just you build your character the way you see fit how to get through the game how to get through the different objectives the best way possible um, this, I have a, it's a tank, it's a more of a heavy kind of character, uh, very little, um, AOE activity, I had, I have some, but, um, I look at it as a tank, and I know in a lot of, um, parties I've gone into, you start, you go in, you start into the party, you start into the objective, the dungeon. Of course, you go through this thing and there'll be somebody in there that you partied up with complaining and bitching on, you know, leaving snide remarks and saying, are you a tank? You're sure a piss poor excuse for a tank. Um, I can't believe you say you're a tank, uh, blah, 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 you know, on, on, on. And I can't believe you're, are you a taunting tank? Are you, you know, you just get all this negativity um, thrown at you in these parties. Now, when I play Neverwinter, folks, you get in on a party there, nothing said, we go in, and the main objective in there is to kill the boss, kill the minions, kill what's ever inside, and uh, solve the quest, because Neverwinter is about the same as Elder Scrolls. Um, so the thing of it is, you hear no complaining, no bitching, because we're all after the the same thing. We're all after we do the objective. When we get we we either go in, get it done, get our asses kicked, learn to go in a different way, and then get it done or whatever. So. I don't know. I, I noticed with this game, Elder Scrolls has a very poor MMO component. Um, Neverwinter has an awesome, excellent um, MMO, and it seems like we all go in. We all, we're all, we're all in there, folks. We're all in these dungeons, whether in a party or alone, to kill the boss. It doesn't matter if you're a taunting tank, if you're a if you're um, a DPS, if you're a saucer, if you're a healer, it's good to have a healer on board that will keep you up. And, um, as you know, that way you could be in there fighting. Um, but the thing of it is, I really don't care who's in there. This long we all work in there, kill the bosses. <laughs> kill the bosses and forget it, move on. Um, but that's the only thing I see different with this game and Neverwinter. Neverwinter is a pretty awesome game. They have just as good graphics and animation as Elder Scrolls, I think. Um, Elder Scrolls is always building on, which Neverwinter is too. They're always introducing new DLC version drops and whatnot. Well, Elder Scrolls is as well introducing new, um, new DLCs, new... Um, expansions and whatnot. The only thing different about Elder Scrolls Online and Neverwinter, Neverwinter is a free game. It's a freebie. It's over there at Cryptic, um, part of the Perfect World Entertainment Group, and part of the ARC Network. And you just go in there over their site, download it in, start playing it, have a lot of fun doing it. And it's all free. Now, they do have a cash store like they all have, but I mean, you can get in there, 
um, build up a character uh, for free. There's no pay gates. There's no subscription fees. Uh, there's no membership fees. There's, uh, folks, it's free. It's a freebie game. And for a free game, it is, it is pretty awesome in their um, um, graphic design and um, animation and the dungeons and just just absolutely wonderful for a free game so and they have a good mmo component um as i said they do have i think they do have some arenas in there where you can go pvp just like elder scrolls has and um but the thing of it is um i've just had and they have foundries in there you could try player built dungeon add-ons and it's just, it's pretty decent, pretty decent for a freebie game. So, um, in this game, you know, you go into a dungeon a party, and you go into a dungeon, to me, uh, there might be somebody out there complaining and bitching and moaning on, well, if you're a tank, well, if you're a taunting tank, well, who, who gives a shit what you are? Just go in there and kill them. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's... The, the mentality on Neverwinter is we're all in there, we all head for the bosses, head for the minions, and all kill. We all work to the same, the same thing. There's very little, I don't think there's any complaints. I've, I've never had any. So whether you're a taunting tank, whether you're a tank, whether you're a DPS, whether you're a saucer, whether you're a healer, uh, it doesn't, you know, just um, get in there and do the best you can. I, you know, that's kind of what I do here. So if people want to complain, I guess you can't satisfy. I left this on a blog the other day. You can't satisfy everybody. Every, there's always going to be somebody out there complaining. You just, um, you just kind of um, ignore it and go on. I mean, it's only a game. If you're going to let the different um, characters of a party upset the gameplay, well, you probably ought to get out of the game. So... I, I'm like this, it's a game, either you make it through it, you don't, if you get your asses handed to you, well, there's always next time. There's been a lot of these dungeons I've gone in on my own, I've got my ass handed to me two or three times, and then maybe on another night, I try it again, and I, I'm able to get through it. Maybe I'm just more, uh, tuning in better, maybe my, uh, my mentality for gaming's better that night, I don't know, but it's just what it is, but... um. Otherwise, I want to welcome everybody in. I appreciate everybody coming in, and thank you very much. My, my gameplay style is going to differ, differ from anybody else's gameplay style. My, you know, I've had people on there saying, I can't believe you made it to uh, um, your championship where you're at. You're a shitty player. Well, whether he might, she or he or who, he said, she said, they said, um, I don't give a shit. If you think I'm a shitty player, don't watch the videos. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than that. Um, but I've had them, not many. You know, once in a while, you know, you get them. But um, I'm in. The, I'm I'm in the gaming because it's fun, enjoyable, and I'm not gonna get on, get in gaming and to fight, bicker, and argue because of the team, because of the party, because of what whatever. Uh, you go in, you do it, you leave it. Um, that's. Um, and go to the next one. You know, all these games have the same rinse and repeat mentality. So, um, there's going to be a lot of that. So, rinse and repeat. That's a lot of the games. Um, you go in, you do a dungeon, you leave it. Go in and do another dungeon, leave it. Go in and do another dungeon, leave it. It's rinse and repeat all the way, folks. So, um, the only thing I'm saying is that... Uh, I'm in the game for fun. I'm not going to sit back and make judgmental um, accusations and snide remarks in the chats because if the team isn't right. Now, I will say one thing. If we're in a party, we don't have a healer. That is critical. We need a healer on board. But even some of them. We've, I've been in parties before, and, you know, as, a, you know, as they sling... Um, you know, snide remarks at me. Well, some of those healers weren't worth a shit. They couldn't. They they just couldn't keep up with the healing of the the players in there. So, it, but I didn't get on there and um, you know cut them down. I just figure, well, you know, maybe they're new. Maybe they're not a strong a healer. 
you know, maybe they're building a character. I don't know. And also, you know, uh, Elder Scrolls has some, I think, overbuffed bosses. They're, you know, they're the bosses are way overbuffed. Um, some of these group dungeons, the way I look at it, um, if you can't get a party together uh, and you try to go in on your own, I've tried some of these group dungeons on my own. or some I can make it through, some I can't. Uh, you know, some you have to get a little creative to go through. So, but I think the bosses are too high. They're, uh, you know, they're overbuffed. And then I've talked to people that they think the bosses aren't high enough. So you're going to get a, a kind of a difference of opinion. But, um, so it's just one of them things where this MMO component with this game compared to Neverwinter's MMO component is no comparison. Um, MM, um, Neverwinter's MMO compared to it, if you go in with two people into a dungeon run, their bosses are kind of um, re-regulated to how many people go in there. Which I don't know how these are. Um, from what I've seen of it, they're full throttle buffs. So... Um, but anyway, with that said, um, we're going to get the stream underway and we are here in Rothgar. We finished up some, uh, quests last stream in Rothgar. And before I shake away from here, I noticed there were some, um, here are the sky shards up here. I'm going to go sky shard hunting to get up here and get this. And... I'm going to start off by writing up there if the, if the terrain gets real rough, um, I'll have to pop in as close as I can. To get into here, it looks like I might have to go down here. Hopefully I can get up there. I don't, I doesn't look like any kind of any place unless there's a path up there that I'm not seeing in the map here. Let's see if I can get... There might be something here. Coming up through here, maybe. But we'll we'll try it and um, see what happens. Once again, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Okay, there's our mark. Long live King Bosworth. My cousin trades with Eaglesbrook. I hope his business doesn't suffer after that attack. I thought maybe I can get out of here. Let's see, go through here, maybe. I don't want to go through there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.
need to... I was wanting to get out the other side, but heck with it. We'll just follow it along. got the keyboard thing going on again some some nights the, the keyboard seems to work good then the other nights it doesn't can't believe that I've grown About fond time. of this land, but sometimes I miss the bug infested. Oh, let's see if I could sell something. That's a two-handed thing. I don't know if I'll... Well, I guess I can go ahead and sell it. Probably go up here and see if I can get in this way. And if I can, that'll be good. If I can't, we'll have to go around the other way, I guess. My goodness, there's a giant. I'm 
ship. Hmm. to see if I can go on in. Wait a minute. I'd love to go on in. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. all over me. That's right. Come on. We got some other people kind of milling around. See, I don't think I'm gonna have to go up this way. Got a lot of people up kind of milling around. Oh, we got some people running over there. Let's see if I can get down. Can I jump? Oh, I don't know about that. It's going to be a long jump. Well, if I go straight in here... Hmm... Well, it looks pretty rugged.
Heck with it. Well, let's see if we can find a half-assed path. It is showing up now. So was a lot of other things. <laughs> I see it. See it. Yeah, coming down this other way, I don't know. It would have been a High, probably a high jump from a cliff way up there, so I'm glad I and cold. I'm gonna, I might jump over here to the arena and see if I can, uh, you know, do any competitions there, maybe see if I can stay up a little longer.
Here is a path right here. Actually... There's a road right here if I can... Okay... Yeah, it's pretty jagged in this in this map. be able to stay right on this and take, shit, take me right there. I don't know how this is going to be, folks. I don't know if it's going to be still high level or if I'm going to be able to do anything at all. I never thought I'd check it. I thought I'd try it out where I'm in the vicinity. I tried this arena and this particular map, oh my goodness, levels ago. When I first started the game, of course, it was pretty uh, high level. Solo, that's that's a good sign, I guess.
Well, let's see uh, here. We can talk to the contact person. I've been wondering when you'd show up on my doorstep. <laughs> I've been following your progress for some time, and with great interest. You show promise. I know talent when I see it. Are you interested in challenging yourself to the utmost? Well, what do you mean? I'm a connoisseur of battle, so I keep track of likely recruits. Your reputation precedes you. I've converted my realm into an arena where I plan to train the greatest warriors in the Orbis. I offer you an opportunity to take my arena challenge. How do I win? The rules are simple. Win or die. Enter <laughs> each arena, defeat all opponents, then move on to the next. Survive them all, and I'll offer you a place in my officer corps. So, interested? Or would you rather just return to Tamriel and fight mud crabs? Alright. I accept your challenge. Very well then. Let's see how long you can last. Now we'll see you survive that. Won't you? Okay. It's called the Veil of the Surreal. The Baron who moves like a shivering droplet served the Mad God for a time, and that's where he got the idea. I've never liked this arena. Too uncanny. But I miss my Baron. Win him back for me. I am a collector of martial styles. A combat connoisseur. Arms trainer to the great and lofty. I've decided to train an army of my own. So I asked each of my barons who move like this to build me a deadly training arena. And so they did. Alrighty. Well. Let's get in here and see what we can do. Oh my. It claims it's solo, so it's can't be. It all depends on the mobs, folks. And now, dogs, dogs are on the tree of death. Oh, here they come! Oh. I 
don't know if we're supposed to use a signal of haste. Signal of healing. Goodness. Big ol' lemon. be right in there, or right next to you, so you'll throw it on yourself. Oh, good night. a little bit much, folks. Oh, 
Oh, it's gonna be uh, rooted down. Musician. Two hundred and forty. Two hundred and forty K. Oh, folks. Again. Oh, it roots me down. Goodness gracious! To me, at once. What a simple bitch! I'm gonna try to get him, and he plays the disappearing act on me. If that's him, is it? All right. Oh my goodness. Now we kill the boy. No, he keeps popping back up. Got me rooted down, I can't do anything. Get him, getting the other ones are worthless, but I need to get the main guy. I, not him. There he is. I don't know which one it is. He keeps disappearing. So far, and that's about it.
uprooted. I can't move. Yeah, thank you. Definitely not fair, folks. I, I don't know. It's just... He disappears as fast as I can get him. I can stay on him. He disappears. Then they root me. Now he's gone. I like this. 
get a few hits in, he disappears on me. How stupid it is! This is stupid. They get you down. They are in ya. Oh, don't worry that you phony fuck. Give me your strength. out there he's see him one two three he's gone good enough man oh oh see there he is it's the white one about time to do some differential here Dude. 
Jackrabbit, and he keeps popping up. That's stupid. Oh shit, he disappeared on me. The old disappearing routine. No survivors. Popping back up. Bitchin' thing. Jumping around like a fucking jackrabbit. Then they root me down, so this is tough. <laughs> no by the time you get over there, son of a bitch is gone.
this boat. This is stupid. Stay on the go, well, hell they stop you. You see this? How ridiculous. Pop him back. Come forth, my other self. Definitely have to stay on the stay on the jump if you don't. It'll get ya. It knocks out my uh, ultimate. I don't know what else to do on it. Get you.
then it, yeah, then it kicks out my ultimate. to disappear and act on me. Then they root me down. Definitely unfair fight, that's for And I, I gotta wait around for the ultimate to come back up. Ultimate doesn't have a timeout period. Yeah.
he's always pops back up sometimes. That's that's bullshit. You ought to get down a certain level and pull off his mongrels. And by the time you get oriented to find out where the motherfuckers at, they've done gotcha. He's back up again. But was that? Oh. The chest of champions. All that for only 100, well, I get 123 gold. All right, I guess. And then we got a grand soul gem. And we did receive this uh, piece of uh, Winterborn Sash piece of set. I guess we'll grab it. Hell, it should have been 1,000 gold. <laughs> I don't know, folks. I, was, I don't know if I call that high challenge or stupidity, but you can call it anything you want. You do appear quite capable. However... I will reserve judgment until I've seen how you perform in the arena. Huh. Tell me more about... Oh, like a lot of these Daedra lords, he's so focused on his sphere that he's not all there in other areas. His absolute command of martial styles is formidable, incredible even, but his memory for all else fades rapidly. That's where I come in. Well, let's see if they have anything different in here. He's selling. Yeah, I do definitely need a repair. Doesn't look like it. Okay, can I sell anything? I'll keep that, put that in the guild store, probably. Alright. It just... It just amazes me how my AO, what little AOE I have, it runs out and there's a, there's a cooldown period for it to recharge, but yet he didn't have any. He continuously, um, rapidly hit me with his AOEs, and that's funny, he didn't have to wait around for his AOEs to recharge. The surreality didn't affect you at all. Have you met Uncle Shio? That would explain it. Now next arena. Oh, you gotta Seth's be kidding. Balcony. It was designed by the Baron who moves like a dancer's hips after spending a season with the mechanist. Beware the whirling blades. They move just like just like Oh, you know what I mean, don't you? 
The barons who move like this. My Daedric Conflict Resolution coaches, each specializing in a different kind of mayhem. They threw themselves so far into the task of creating my arenas that each was absorbed into the final creation. All right. They call that a solo. It definitely puts you to the test, that's for sure. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't know, folks. I can't be, can't be. Come on. I can't get out. Ouch! The blades, I see what you're talking about. I see what uh are these the blades? Switch. the size. I don't know where I can get out of the blades at. I don't know if there's any blades in the middle going on. Watch out for the blades, oh really? Beyond that fight. It's just like a ballet, only with blood. We are oh, folks. Thank God the blade don't me down too too fast too far I don't know
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, definitely need the signal of healing. Get any worse. The final round, oh boy. Knocking him. He's uh. I'll wager that will leave a mark. Uh huh. Oh really?
That's as stupid as it can be. Another one? When he's doing this is ridiculous. Right. How many of these do I have? The next arena, I mean, there's another one, huh? Gone! Trying to outdo each other. They put so much essence and animus into creating their arenas that they just cooperated. Now I have only the arenas to bring with them by. And the memory grows easy. But, no matter. Hmm. Do I have to? It's the drone of toxic shock. The Baron who moves like wind in the reeds really poured his heart into this one. Curious that such a gentle soul should create an arena as lethal as this. Triumph here, challenger, and restore my Baron to me. Very interesting indeed. Now, let's see. 
I act as a sort of peripheral memory storage for him when he goes dreaming. When he returns, I'm able to remind him of what he's forgotten. Right now he's upset because he's losing the capacity to remember his lost parents who move like this. Well, let's see. Probably have to get a repair. Oh, not too bad. I don't think I need any health at this point. I think I... Well, 135 gold. Uh, another grand soul gem. Oh my goodness! Porthole to the drome of nat of toxic shock. That'll that'll probably get me, folks. I don't know. Let's see. Repeatable. Yes, we'll try it. I'll I'll go it until it kills me, I guess. Okay. Even though it's a little ridiculous. I guess some people look at it and say, well. It's challenging. Well, it might be that. Oh shit! No, I can't get out. By the scales of the queen. Oh goodness! Oh, it's gonna take me right down. It looks like. Toxic shock is right. It, this is taking me down faster, so I'll probably. I mean, there's no way I can keep up. going down there. Oh. oh. Oh, well, I got all the way up to that one, so that's that's uh, just real far-fetched. I can't At least I got all the way up to the other one, so... I guess it's a good test. 
if you could look beyond the ridiculous nature of it. Champion level 372. <laughs> Good luck. You're at least you're gonna have to have some sort of uh, steel. You're gonna have to have some sort of armor that's damn near uh, so thick to get get around those shocks, toxic shocks. That I don't know how else to do it. I thought might have had. Here's another sky shard up down here. We're gonna go after, I think. Before I get out of this map. Should I do this one, maybe? Uh, oh, I bet that's probably the closest one right there. See, I'm gonna, uh, on second thought. I'll probably go this way. I can go down here, jet over here. But I don't think there's any way in. See, I think it's up high, way up high. And <clears throat> if I go this way, I'm not going to be able to get, get over this ridge of mountains. So I'm just going to go down here to the first road to the left.
if I keep going in, if I go all the way around and just take the path all the way in, I should be no problem, I don't think. We do have a few other people kind of milling around in the map. Okay, go down here, jig around here. Is it inside somewhere or is it outside? there to get it. Oh, let's see. Can't climb the ladder. See if see what they do. <laughs> They're going up. Yeah, they fall down. Nope. We you tried it too. Well, he's going to do it again. got it. There is a way to do it. It's got to be precise, I guess. Oh, there he goes down. All right. Well, so much for that. Yeah, your jump's got to be precise for sure.
Clearing that quarry out must have taken a toll on your gear. Can I get you anything? I don't think I need anything. We'll take that um, repair, a slight repair. Ten thousand K. time of day. Well, let's get to this. some wolves in the area. We've got some people running toward the old boy shrine. of going back through to see if I have any more um, sky shards in some of the maps. Now here's another... I have a sky shard right up here, it looks like. I think it is right there. There it is. But the closest, there's a guild trader there. About the closest I can get is right here. There's nothing in that area. Okay. We'll get to the nearest um, way shrine as we can.
see what this guild trader is selling. Guild store lone wolf. Nothing. Too much. That's what they have in the way of potions. That might be something good to have. Ravage health, 8346 health immediately. Ravage an additional 530 health every second for 37.6 seconds. That might be something. That might be something. Here's. 10, uh, restore any, oh, I, I hear a gate. Grants major fortitude, which increases your health recovery by 20% for 36 seconds. Restore 898 health per second for 37 seconds. That might not be too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I might have to. We have 50, but boy, they really get expensive. This might be good to use. I could have probably used this with that uh, arena fight. Especially this 890, 898 health per second for 37 seconds versus these 530 health every second for 30 seconds. 530, um, but they're a lot cheaper. Or uh, 898 health per second for 37.6 seconds. And I guess I'll buy them. This down here. That's stamina. We don't need that. Um, this here restores 8369 health immediately, grants major fortitude, which increases your health recovery by 20% for 36.6 seconds. Then you, then you get that extra buff of restoring 898 health per second for 37.6 seconds. Well, not too shabby, but 3,000 gold. A little much. Here's, man, here are those invisibility potions, 50 of them. I hear the gate. Somebody must have got it because it's. like if I follow this road out here go over the creek 
There's a little road right over the creek, I guess. Aldrin's Aldrin is a pretty nice map, folks. There is the Kareek. I don't think it's as rugged as uh, Rothgar. Grab the little bit of gold. Well, opposition up here, it looks like. Okay. If I go in, let's see, this way, cut over, and I should see it. It looks like. Come on, Evil Weevil, let's go in and take care of them. Goodness. Guess we can snee. Oh, hell, there's. Well, it could be up there for all I know.
Oh, folks, is that above? I don't see it down here. Not yet, anyway. It could be down, maybe. Well, it's not in the cubby hole of the cliff edges. I bet you it's up high, folks. I bet you it's up high. This this my luck. I don't know. I mean, help if if you'd see it. And I don't know if I. I guess I can go on down. I don't know how you even get up there. Got to be a got to be a stairway. Got to be a path up there. Sim way off over here. I don't know. Gotta be way up there. We have to find the way up there. Oh shit. They are all over the place. Maybe this way. I sure don't see it down low. Well, Evil Weevil, here we go. Scatter! Take that. It looks like it might be so lightly going up. Well, we got them, we got those, oh my. Grab 
grab the gold and uh, we don't need that. Oh boy, we have the three of them. We did gain a champion point. Grab uh, the gold. I would grab that again. the gold oh here's some stairways going up maybe oh my goodness folks it is everywhere See, there's got to be a way up and in. Hmm, here might be something. It's nothing like making a puzzle out of it. Gotta see if I can... It looks like a stairway, but how do you get in? Is the big question mark. It's showing maybe. I we're way off. But see, I think I have to come way over here. In I don't know, we're way off of it. But it's way over here. Way off.
like there's no door going out at all, just a stairway. I don't know if alerted Three, all of them alerted. Oh my goodness, we will grab all of it. See this way. There'll be a way up. There. Light it up. <laughs> oh my goodness, folks. Goal anyway. Oh, I'm tired of that. The bow and arrow.
may need that. Probably the same thing. Oh, there's gold over here on this one. We'll take it. Well, folks, unless I could find how to get up there, we're pretty much toast on this one. Got to be a way up there. I don't know. It's hard to look around with the error routine all over the place. I get tired of that. Someone's something over here, maybe. Oh, they're everywhere. See this here, you, you can't get into it. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. everywhere. There's somebody else roaming the maps.
somewhere there's a set of stairs going up on top. I north it's up at the north beacon. Looks like. I don't know whether you thought I went through there. See right here shows a small area. shows I thought it going through and there's nowhere back here that leads to up over on here Sure, that's the North Beacon. look this up. I don't know. I'm tired of running around and uh, I'm going to ride through. Oh, shut up. I mean, it might be right there. But see, hell, that's blocked. Oh, shit. Talk about bombarding. I'm the old bus back there. gold.
See, I don't know if we can get up. In through here. Go down through here. But see, it looks, see how that didn't go through. Huh, that's quite interesting. There might be a way in, maybe. Well, let's try this out. It's almost like a quest that I never opened up or something. It's just really agitating. Well, we sure don't have any stairways. Well, since I'm over here, I'm going to kind of jump down here to banish cells. I know it's probably going to be high level for me, but I just want to see what is, how I fare through the beginning of it. I'm going to have to do some research on the North Beacon and Audra and see why we can't get up there and get that. I don't know. I went around the whole thing.
Well met. I thank you for the assistance, but this place is teeming with Daedra. You should leave if you value your life. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Who are you? I am Keeper Sirion, Warden of the Banished Cells. The Daedra have helped my prisoner, High Kinlord Relis the Twelfth, to escape his prison. Relis is an immortal phantom who wields powerful magic. You should return to the surface and warn Tamriel. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Okay. You're serious? I've mentioned the swarms of Daedra, have I not? There are, if you're willing to risk your life, there are other keepers who may need help. I imagine the High Kinlord said more against us than the Banekin who harangued me. I will find the other keepers. <laughs> Three of my comrades remain somewhere Banishing in the banished. They well, serve we'll... <laughs> as keepers under me. Sworn to guard the High Kinlord's prison for as long as they are able. Find them and help them if they live. I have not <laughs> seen them since the Daedra attacked. Araldor is the closest, and if she lives, you'll find her up ahead. This guy's got big ideas, you know, wish in one hand, want in another. All right. So worms in this thing are a lot. They're, I mean, they're just. Getting from here down over to here is going to be the... But mobs here are the, are the worst. Like I'll start something going here and then there'll be a whole bunch of these son of a guns that come after me. Oh folks, here they come. Oh! Damn! Talk about arrows again. I don't know. Let me see if I can sneak in. Sneak through. Let's see if I could do it. I tried this. Oh shit, back in the beginning. But I use no uh, invisibility potions, so if I use some of those. We need to make our way over to here, kind of through here. I really hate to waste all my... Fifty four K, oh my. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. They got me. Oh shit, they got me rooted. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Yep, there it is. We'll skip on through it. Forty-two k. Oh, folks, that was another forty-nine k. A fifty-four k. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. He's electrified to the fl find the keeper. Well, oh, folks, he's nasty. I don't know if I can get through that or not. So I don't know if I can go up around those pillars or not. Seems like I might be able to. Let me wait till the potion comes up. Now, if it was just the 849k, I could probably do the best to try to take it down. But we have these other ones, minions, that would be knocking me down as well. All right, potions ready. Oh, folks, I can't get up around. Uh. Well, I guess that didn't work. I'm going to try to go up through the middle. I don't know if I'll make it or not, but we'll... If I can get on the other side up there, and I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll be able to go ahead and get them loose, or if I have to take down that big monstrosity, or what. All right, here we go. Oh, he noticed me. Even at a hidden. Oh my gosh, folks. Come <laughs> on. 
shit. Oh! Oh my gosh. If I can get rid of this son of a bitch. Oh, he's trying to grab me, folks. Slow takedown, that's for sure. Goodness, he, he drags the hells out of me, and I think he gives it to himself. Dirty prick. Up again. Then he gives it to himself. That's dirty, no good for nothing.
Rose! Haroldor! You live! I do, though I've seen better days. The High Kin Lord's power has grown. Hmm. He would not have been able to escape our predecessors as he has escaped we'll us today. It. We need to go after him. Stay down, Keeper. You're injured. If the others yet live, we should find them. Then deal with Relis, if we can. He has already escaped. I will not suffer further dishonor by losing lives to him. You're ever the optimist. And Ultima should not fear the end, Syrian. I believe the lives of all four of us to stop Relis. The High Kin Lord will rend Tamriel apart if he gets to the surface. And it will be our fault. There is a difference between fearing death and throwing your life away, Araldar. And as long as I lead the Keepers, you will do neither. If the others live, we'll find them. Uh, all right. You gotta be kidding. You've helped more than I could have hoped, stranger. Araldor will survive this. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What do you um The tale is well known in these parts. In his youth, High Kin Lord Relis was a hero, instrumental in bringing order to this region. However, Relis's thirst for power, which drove him to perform great feats, was his undoing. What did he do? He consorted with Oblivion to ascend to power. Those who stood in his way, he killed, though always under mysterious circumstances. Eventually, those around him saw through his schemes and imprisoned him. Lifetimes have passed, but Relis remains. How can that be? Relis's pact with the Daedra keeps him chained to Nern, though he is dead. Were it not for the Daedra who freed him, he would be serving his sentence still, until time immemorial. Well, what is this place? In ages past, the vilest of my people were interred here as punishment. Today, the banished cells contain a sole prisoner, High Kinlord Relis the Twelfth. Relis is long dead, but his Daedric pact sustains him. And a prisoner he remained until today. All right, we we went through the dialogue. Oh my goodness, that's the second keeper. Ugh. And it looks like I might have to go back through here. I don't know though. There's a gate there. Looks like a gate here. Well, I guess I can run down through here and see. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Uh-oh. Get going. Get going. Do some jumping. And healing. Oh, shit. Oh my. Oh shit, I want to go this way. Oh, oh. I don't think I can. Uh. I need to go that way. No, I need to go this way. I can't go that way. I'm blocked to go this way. Oh 
Holy shit. Yeah, I, I can't. I'm... On the map, it's not really showing anything there. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna have to go up this way. Yeah, it's not showing anything. It's showing it here, here, and right Looks like this could come to an end. I don't know. Where I'm at now, it's not even showing that gate. Well, folks, I don't know. We've been derailed again. I don't know if... Um, I need to go back out here and see if I can get through here. If I can't, I'm just gonna, I don't know. Oh gosh darn. Oh my goodness, folks. Good night talking about nasty. Nasty! Hey, I did manage to get one of the bosses down below. It's the mobs you can't handle. Mobs are terrible. Oh shit. Tear in the way and get through. I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, is that... Do I have to go through that? Oh my goodness. Oh, stunned? Really? I don't know what this is down here. This is the new thing. Yeah. Back there again. Oh, okay, here those are. <laughs> oh, that's that's okay. So I don't know how to. There's a there's a gate there. I'm probably going to have to run this with a party because I don't know what I have to do, what I have to trigger to move this guy here again. You've helped more than I could have hoped, stranger. Haroldor will survive this. Haroldar would like nothing more than to confront Relis now, but we're not ready. The High Kin Lord can't be killed. Our only course is to capture him, but we'll need a sturdier prison than we've ever had before. What do you need from me? Haroldar and I will think on a plan to deal with the High Kin Lord. Defeating Relis is pointless if we can't hold him. In the meantime, yeah. the area up ahead is under Keeper Varanil's jurisdiction. 
Even if he lives, he'll need your help. Uh, yeah. Now, I don't know, but... S the High Kinlord's power has grown terrifying. I don't know that we can stop him, though we must. Tamriel is in grave danger if Rilis reaches the surface. Even if we catch him, we'll need to devise a stronger prison than the last one. See, the thing of it is, I don't know what I'm missing, because it's... It's... I don't need to kill him, do I? Surely not. You've helped more than I could have hoped, stranger. Araldor will survive this. <laughs> they might survive it, but will I? I don't know, folks. I'm going to have to do... A... A... Kind of a walkthrough on this, because I don't really know what I'm missing. It's showing to come up and, you know, it's showing him there again. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to just find out and um, come back on this. And I wish there was a portal back to the beginning. Because when I run out of here, there's a gate right there. Gate right there. I'm missing something, but any rate, we're gonna we're up over the three hour mark. We're gonna go ahead and call it a video segment for tonight. Um, we got um, some research and review to do on a couple of these things. So I don't know if I have to be with a party. Uh, where I have to kill all the minions and the bosses that are in these um, areas, and then it'll automatically open up. I don't know. Um, and this is a normal dungeon. Normal. <laughs> so, if that's the case, I'll have, to, I'll have to come through here with a party. But I could... The next stream, I guess I can always uh, see about getting... Um, a party together and, go and coming through this. I already have the quest. So I'll probably go out of this and I'm hoping that they'll probably put me back here. I'm hoping that's still there. So I hope I don't have to do this over again. But if I do, I'll come in with a party. Otherwise, folks, I appreciate everybody coming in, stopping by, popping in, popping out. If you watched, you know, you know, several minutes i appreciate it even if you watched a minute or two thank you very much if you're watching live stream or the recorded live stream up at the game channel um thank you very much i appreciate it until the next stream we will catch everybody down that gaming stream keep on gaming folks it's a great way to let off some steam i guess <laughs> We'll talk we'll see everybody later. Thank you very much.